Well, the last couple of weeks, I've spent up in my roof cavity at 37 degrees Celsius installing my heat recovery ventilation system. And I'll bring you more on that soon. But today, we're going to talk about this, the Miros Smart Wi-Fi Lamp. And I'm going to show you how it integrates into Home Assistant. So Miros was kind enough to reach out to me and send me this Miros Smart Light for free. Um, they have not sponsored the video, so I'll give you all my thoughts, both good and bad. I will put a link in the description below. So if you want to purchase yourself one of these lamps, you can click on the link and go straight there. So first of all, having it at Miros, who is Miros? Now, Miros is a smart home company that is offering a number of types of uh, products from plugs, lights, um, humidifiers, thermostats, alarms, doorbells, all sorts of things. Having a look at the smart Wi-Fi ambient lamp, um, very, very much focused towards Apple HomeKit, which is great. It means it's a reasonably good quality product because Apple seems to be quite difficult to get as a partner. So I'm expecting this to be a good quality product. Um, having a look at the specifications here, it is a 5-volt display, 5-volt device. Beauty of this device is that it does come with a power brick, which is a nice surprise. Yes, it's dimmable, and it is tunable from 2000 to 5007K, and it also has got RGB full RGB capability, once again running on the 802 2.4 gigahertz network. Now, so having a look at the device, um, it's got the smooth plastic along the top side of it, and then we've got a white plastic down the bottom here. Now it feels really weighty at the bottom end, which is great because it feels nice and sturdy, and it's got some rubber sort of feet at the bottom there. On the top side, we've got this little plastic disc, and this is our touch on and off button. And in the front here, we've got two other buttons. One is a mode button, and the other one is a timer button. Once we've powered it on, we just give it a touch at the top there, and it comes on. As you can see, it's got a really nice, bright, yellowish glow when it first come on. I really like the feeling of the light that comes out of this device. It's really well distributed over that um, sort of shaded plastic there and it just feels like a quality product a double click turns it off and a single click turns it back on if we click on it it will change so if it's in the white modes it'll change between its different white colors if we click the mode button over here it will now go to rgb if we're on rgb it will change the colors as you can see we've got some really nice colors there and if we go to the third mode over there, you will see that it goes into this little color changing mode. So let's have a look how we connect it up to Wi-Fi. So we download the Miros app, and then we need to go in and create a username and a password. Once we've that done that, it'll send us a code. So we put that code in to log us in. Once we've done that, we'll need to go and select the type of device that we want to add. We are adding a smart lamp and we're going to select the MSL450. Now I'm gonna use HomeKit to connect this because it just means I don't have to put my Wi-Fi information in. It gets it all from HomeKit. So I've selected that, I go next, and now what it's gonna do, it's gonna ask me to scan the QR code on the device. So we take our camera, go and scan the device, and it will then very simply connect it into HomeKit for us. Now, when it comes to integrating this device into Home Assistant, there are no direct Home Assistant integrations. We need to go along to Hex. So you need to have Hex installed on your system. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how to install Hex. Now, if we go and we search for Miros over here, you'll see that there's two options. So you can either go with a cloud integration or a LAN integration. What we're going to focus on now is the cloud integration, but you do have the local LAN integration as well. The other what I'm going to do now is click on the cloud-based integration, and I'm going to download this. Once it is downloaded, we'll need to do a restart of Home Assistant, and then we'll be able to access 
the device or the auto, uh, integration in our integration settings. So now that we've restarted Home Assistant, we can just go along to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration. And now we can select our Miros Cloud Integration. Connect to Miros Official Cloud Requires Internet. There we go. So we'll select that one. We'll put in our email address. We'll just skip MQTT certifications and we'll go Submit. And if all goes well, it should connect up pretty easily. There we go, it's created it, and we can now go down here. Um, there we are over there, still busy initializing. There we go. Do not rely on local HTTP, just use MQTT. Let's just go for HTTP and see what happens. Finish, device, and there we go. So we can click on that, as you can see, we can control our brightness, we've got our colors, and we've got our white and dim over there. So after playing with this device, I would definitely buy one of these for myself. I can honestly recommend it. But that's all for now. If you like this content, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.